Yo guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. And in this video, we will be comparing Mahito in different Roblox games. Now, just recently, Jujutsu Shenanigans updated their Mahito, and I think it's really good. I think he's, I think he's probably already the best character in the game, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm just gonna be comparing the Mahitos in every Roblox game I that I know has Mahito. So yeah, as usual, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, let's not waste any time, let's get straight into the video. And yeah, before I forget, I will be doing giveaways. So comment your Roblox user in the comment section. I'll be giving away early access in Jujutsu Shenanigans. And yeah, I'll be picking a winner this week or by the end of this week. So yeah, and also join my Discord for because that's I may be holding future giveaways there from now on. Uh, yeah. So the first game we'll be looking at is Jujutsu Shenanigans, and they just recently added a whole bunch of new stuff to Maito. So first, let me showcase his whole kit. The first move is Stop Power. Just spawns two hammers and has a really far not bad. Let me show that again. So stop power again. So yeah, it knocks them back really far. The next move is Soul Fire. Which is basically just a gun and you can combo with that. So uh, Yeah. Yep, so that's pretty good. Now the third move focus strike works the same way as Isidori's divergent fist, so you'd have to so here's how it looks normally. And here's how it looks with the black flash. There you go. And this move also, I believe, has a finisher. So let me just show that real quick. So here's the finisher, the normal finisher. Yep. And then here's the finisher with black flash. There you go. Now for the awaken, the awaken is. So the Awakens quite different from all the other Awakens in this game. So basically, for the Awaken, you have to it, you have to land a punch. Well, you press G and it makes you punch, and you have to land it on a on an opponent, anyone. And if you miss the punch, your Awaken bar goes down by like seventy percent, and you have to grind it all again. So if I press G now, punch it, and then it awakens. So yeah, it's just like the anime when he used a black flash and Itadori for the first time. Now, probably for the best, the best part of this update, Maito's domain expansion, and in my opinion, this is the best domain in the game. Like, there's, there's no way, bro. You put the domain. So basically, how this domain works is they have a purple meter. When that purple meter runs out, they automatically die, no matter your health. And the closer you are to them, the faster the meter goes down. And this can even one shot a Hakari in mode, just so, just think about that. This is the best domain in the game in my opinion. Okay. And now for Maito's passive, this is also a really cool feature they added. So if you press R, you can get a sword, and you can get a hammer. So first let me show you the sword. These are the sword M ones. And the dash also changes, so the Q dash you get a whole TP move. Go. And now let me show you the hammer. Now for the hammer, the M1s are a bit slow. But I think the Q's, oh, the Q makes up for it. Like, look at the Q. Yeah, so the Q, you just spin around, you dash at them. But obviously, for me, I prefer the sword. Because of the, the Q dash. Okay. And yeah, that's my tool. That's the Jujutsu Shenanigans my tool. So, I would rate this an easy A out of 10. Like the domain is the domain's really nice. The pass, I like the passes. I like how they gave him different uh, M ones for the passes and dashes. Uh, the finishes are good. You know, yeah. So I'm giving them an A out of ten. I won't give them higher because it's not finished yet. But yeah, I think this is this is a good mind. So I think they deserve an A out of ten. So now on to the next game, which is Project Baki Three. I uh, here we are on Project Baki Three. And this Maito is probably my favorite one out of all of them, just because it has so many things you're able to do with this Maito. So first let me show you. So for the first move of Maito, to be able to use the first move, you have to first use the second move, which is the X move, which is this. Transfigure touch. And then once you're linked to them with the transfigure touch, you press the first move. 
and it kind of stuns or trips them like that. Now there's actually another variant of this move where if you press X and then if you go next to someone and then press the first move, oh, hold on, I'm getting pissed up. Press the first move, you can drag two people towards each other, they both take damage. Now onto the second move. Basically how the second move works is depending on how low your opponent is, the second move has different variations to it. So let's say I use it on someone who's above 60% HP. So if you press, if you use Transfigur Transfiguration Touch and then you use it again on someone who's more than 60%, this is what will happen. They lose a limb, they get slower, their dashes get disabled and I believe they do less damage. Alright, let's use it now. Alright, there we go. So <clears throat> he shrinks, they shrink and the moves are disabled. So you can see they've gotten smaller. So let's say I use it while they're at red health. That's what happens. So they turn into a fairy and any damage I take goes to him. So look, as you can see, my health is not going down. He's taken all the damage I would have taken. You see? They're taking all the damage. And now the next move is actually an evasive, but you can also use it to move around as well. So if I press C, you turn into like a snake and you just like you just move around the map. So I believe you can use this while in a combo. So let me just try, let me test this while I'm getting hit as well. Alright, there you go. So as you can see, you can use it's an evasive, you can use it while you're in a combo, you're being hit by anyone, and yeah, you'll just break out of it. Now the next move is, oh, so basically how the next move works is depending on how long you hold the move for, you can do different things with it. So let's say I just give the move a single tap. There you go. You do a two hit combo with your hands. Now let's say I hold it for a little bit longer. Check. And turns into a sword you do a slashing attack and now let's say let's say that i hold the uh, let's say that i hold the v move fully like to the max there you go you shrink you become smaller and you're faster like you're visibly faster yeah so as you can see i'm really fast all right so the last move is domain expansion now i know some people have been complaining in my Maito shorts that I don't let the animations preload before using them so it doesn't look good. So this time I've let them load properly so it should be fine. So yeah, domain expansion. Honestly, is this a weekend this domain is It's not bad, I can't lie. It looks good. Alright, so basically in this domain, your X has infinite range, it can hit anyone from anywhere in this domain. So yeah, no, there's no escape, you can damage anyone from anywhere here. You're also faster in your own domain, so anyone trying to run, you can just catch them easily. And yeah, overall it's pretty OP domain. Alright, now for the Awaken. So for the Awaken, basically how you get it is you have to fill this pink bar down here, as you can see where my mouse is. And you do that by basically hitting anyone, just doing any type of move, just hitting them, doing damage, and the bar will eventually fill up. So once you have it full, you press G, and you get the way So of course, in this, in this mode, you get a whole bunch of buffs such as speed, damage reduction, you do more damage, you get flash step dash as well. And I believe the M1 changes as well. Yeah. The M1 changes and some moves change as well. So if I press this, not this move. Ah. Hold on. Yeah, so you get a barrage. And you also get another move. I think it's a dash move. Yep, there you go, dash move. Yeah, so that does a lot of damage. Oh, it's just good. Yeah, so it does a lot of damage and your defense in this mode is really high. I believe 
you can't be taken out of this mode until they do a certain amount of damage to you if i remember correctly i don't know if that's right but yeah out of 10 i'd probably out of 10 i'd probably rate this smite all good 9 out of 10 like i don't see anything wrong with it the moves are good it's the most unique Maito I've seen. Like, there's so many things that you could do with this Maito. The domain is really good. I personally think the domain looks better than GG shenanigans. I might make some people angry, but yeah. So, the next game we'll be looking at is Sorcerer's Battlegrounds. And yeah, let's get to it. Alright, here we are in Sorcerer's Battlegrounds. Now, the Maito of this game isn't quite finished yet, but he at least does have a, an Awaken that we can showcase. So first, let's just show the whole kit. So the first move, Soul Soul Tendrils. Don't if I said that right. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Yeah. So you just extend your arms. Mad not back. Sends them all the way back. See if you can combo with that. Okay. You can use that wilder grounded as well. The next move is the next move is Soul Bend. Oh wait, the animation didn't load properly. Let me use that again. Yeah, so it's just a massive punch that has massive range. Like, hold on, hit him here. Yeah, that has massive range. All right, so those, so the third move is Soul Rend. Yeah, this is literally Katakuri. They took a lot of inspiration from Katakuri. So yeah, you turn into a donut, you rush them, grab onto them, and fling them. Uh, the last move is Soul Impale. Just spikes, you stab them, and yeah, they get stunned. You can stun them for a bit and then do a combo. So, uh, 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 and then you can see that. So yeah, Soul Impale is definitely good for combos. That's your combo extender right there. And now, for the Awaken. <laughs> Yeah, not bad. So the Awakens pretty good, in my opinion. It's not bad at all. So the first move is Soul Punisher. Nice. So it's a whole barrage. It it changes your avatar as well. To the form Maito turns into in this final fight with Itadori. This is pretty good. Let me use that one more time. Pretty nice move, yeah. Uh, the next move is impeccable, de impeccable defense. Now this move is actually really good. This move hits a lot, so she's that, and it brings them all together as well. So yeah, you could probably this is a good combo extend as well. Just put them down and then pop it. Yep, yeah. So that's a pretty good move, and yeah, that's source was Baron Downs my talk. I'd give this a good. Uh, I'll give it a good 7 out of 10. I'd like, I do like Jujutsu Shenanigans one better than uh, Sorcerer's Battleground, which is why I rate it lower than that one. So, the next game we'll be moving on to is Jujutsu, Jujutsu Infinite. Yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so here we are in Jujutsu Infinite. Now, they've done their Maito moveset like for a long time. They've done it a long time ago. Uh, I don't know if they added any new stuff to it or changed anything. So, yeah. Let me be, let me showcase it. So the first move is deformed fist. This yeah, so it's just a fist. Oh, so it seems like every time you hit them, it has this sort of it puts this effect on them, this blob effect. I don't know what it does. It seems like wait. okay. So it seems like every time you use a mind to move, it does that. Uh, let me do that one more time. Deformed fist. All right. The next move is Blade Rush. Oh wow, that's a really fast move. So you just rush. Oh yeah, it's happened. Yeah, so everyone you get, anyone who gets here by my to move gets this effect. It probably debuffs them somehow. I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments what it does. Third move is Soul Touch. Oh wow. So it seems like it touches you and then just sends you, brings you back. The next move is Fresh Drill. Oh. So that's a range move. 
you just shoot it out? Let me... Hold on. Let me use that again and see how far that goes. Alright, so fresh draw. Oh, and it drags you to the... Oh! So that's a good move to get anyone who's like trying to run or cover some distance. Good to drag them towards you. The next move is this distorted inflation. I have no idea what that... I think that heals you. I have no idea what that does. Someone let me know in the comments. I don't know what that does. Uh, the next move is Soul, soul in Summer. Oh, so it spawns a whole clone. I attacks the nearest enemy opponent. Does your fight for you. Level 350. And yeah. Okay, that's that. Now the last move is Soul Embodiment of Perfection. really dark uh so yeah i don't know what this domain actually does let me just use some moves and see uh oh wait oh okay okay yeah now i understand so when you use soul touch in the domain it targets everyone that's inside the domain okay now i understand so yeah that's the domain expansion free op Uh, let me see. I'd give this monitor like an 8 out of 10. It's not bad, honestly. And I like how it has some more moves that you can do. Uh, and yeah, the domain expansion, honestly. Honestly, in terms of domain expansion, Jujutsu Shenanigans and Jujutsu Inf No, Project Baki and uh, Jujutsu Infinite are definitely my top picks. Like they, Those two have got the best domain expansion, in my opinion. Some people might think differently but yeah that's what i think now the last and final game we'll be looking at is sukuna battlegrounds so let's go straight to it all right so here we are on the final game of the video sukuna battlegrounds and this game actually has a lot of characters and like, this is the longest list of characters i've ever seen in any battlegrounds game so yeah it's kind of funny anyways some of the moves are on cooldown as soon as you change into the character so we have to wait for those but let me show you some of the moves so the first move transfiguration clone it just spawns a clone that attacks the nearest target does a lot of damage the next move disfigured parts whoa uh so i guess that's a ground slam just does aoe damage if anyone is in it the next move, Twister Claw. Uh. Oh, okay, so that's supposed to be Maito's Claws. You grab them and then you throw them. The next move, Transfigure, Transfiguring Grasp. Oh, so that, another grab move, you just grab them and then it seems like you stun them, right throw them on the ground. The next move is Self embodiment of perfection, which is the domain expansion. Uh, oh. Uh, I mean, domain's kind of mid. Uh, these aren't even hands. I don't know what these are supposed to be. Uh, it is, and it's kind of short as well. I don't even know what I don't mean does. Um, anyways, the next move, instant body of distorted killing. Why is my camera spinning? Jesus. Uh, uh, okay, so this is instant body of distorted killing. It seems like you're visibly faster. You do more damage? I think you do more damage, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the model is... Uh, I don't know about that model. Um, the last move, Ultimate Distortion.
Oh. Uh, okay, I don't know what just happened there, but it seems like that's a grab. And the whole cutscene plays. It does a lot of damage. Uh, I'll give like a 4 out of 10. Uh, the domain could use some work. The model could use some work as well. But like, look at this. Like, what is this? Yeah. Some of the minis are alright, yes. Let's figure it out. Uh, and yeah, that's my final rating for this game. All right, and that's the end of the video. So first, I'd like to give a big thank you to those who stuck around to the end and watched the whole thing. Um, yeah, honestly, this comparing these games wasn't as hard as the Megami video, in my opinion. Like this game, this Mito had a clear winner for me. Like Project Baki Three was the winner for me, and yeah, here are the results for all the games, the ratings that I gave for each game. And yeah, as usual, this is my opinion. If you guys think differently, leave in the comments which game you think had the best Mito. Rank, do your own ranking in the comments which game had the best Mito. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to comment your user in the comments because I'm still doing that giveaway for anyone who wants early access. I'll pick the winner like tomorrow or sun end Sunday. I don't know. Whenever. So yeah. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next game. Peace.